I don't know what time it is where you are, but where I am, it's five-ish in the morning. I know you're shocked by my appearance, but what you normally see on this channel doesn't just happen. I don't roll out of bed that way. Despite my enervated appearance, this time of day is actually when I get most of my productive writing done. Is enervated the word I want there? For the last five-ish years, I've been rising around 5 a.m. and spending an hour writing. Six days a week, 52-ish weeks a year. Today, I want to talk about some ways that you too can achieve all of this some reasons why you might want to, and also some reasons why you might not want to. First, a disclaimer. I am, by my nature, a morning person. Always have been. I feel better when I get up early. I like getting up early. It makes me feel good. So while this habit of mine sounds all braggy and impressive, it's actually something that fits within my nature. And if it's any consolation to you, by 3 p.m. I'm usually a zombie. And this brings me to the first point that I want to make about this. There is nothing special about getting up at 5 a.m. And I don't know why society lionizes people who do it. You'll see all these gurus talking about the magic of 5 a.m. and these Navy SEAL type people yelling at you about getting out of bed early and all this stuff about top performers and how it'll change your life, and that's mostly BS, IMO. It's the work you do which is important. There's an alternate universe where I do this work at 7 p.m. or noon or whenever, and everything else is exactly the same. Still a mediocre dark fantasy writer recording himself at 5 a.m. on a Thursday morning in his basement. Getting the work done is what matters. When you get it done, is not actually that important. So if this idea of getting up before the dawn is repulsive to you, then don't worry. It's not a requirement and there's nothing magical about it, at least in my view. All that being said, I think given the way most people's lives are structured, there are some reasons that getting up early might be helpful. First, there's very few other people up at this hour, which means there's limited distractions. You're less likely to be bombarded by incoming emails or notifications or random people coming up to you and asking for things, because all of those people are still asleep. Second, since the work is the first thing you're doing in the day, it means that theoretically you have the most attention and energy. I don't know if that's true for everybody. I think with some people their creativity kind of builds up throughout the day, and then towards the end of the day they might feel like releasing it through their writing. Or some people just aren't naturally wired for mornings, and doing work at that time for those sorts of people is probably going to be very difficult. I know that for me, getting something that's important to me done first thing in the morning is really good for sort of setting the tone for the rest of my day. I tend to get more things done throughout the day if I start being productive very, very early on. But again, a lot of that could be refuted, so as I said, this is something that's different for everybody. Anyway, if this is something you want to start pursuing for yourself, here are some recommendations for how to get started. First off, and this is probably the most important point, your sleep needs to be in order. Six to eight hours of good sleep makes getting up early a hell of a lot easier. There's tons of good resources out there on different ways you can improve your sleep, and honestly, this is something you should probably do no matter what. Next up, pick a time relative to where you are currently getting up. This gets back to the idea that there's nothing really special about 5 a.m. specifically. If you regularly get up at 7.30 and want to squeeze in an hour of work first thing, then you can do that by getting up at 6.30. There's no need to push right to 0500. The idea is to get stuff done before your normal day begins, so that can be at any time. Next up, I want you to really focus on just getting through the first 30 days. When I first started doing this 5 a.m. thing, I did it for like three or four days, and then immediately got a massive, horrible cold that stopped me from doing it for two weeks. 
I've been doing this for so long that I'm up and feeding the cat and sitting in front of my typewriter writing before my left eye has even fully opened. I would have to make conscious effort to stop doing this, and that conscious effort would require stopping an extremely entrenched habit within the first eight seconds of being awake, which is really hard to do. All that to say, if you start doing this and you do it for long enough, it'll start to become automatic and it'll become much easier. That's what happens when you repeat something for a long time. It becomes a habit. Habits are, by their very definition, easy to repeat, easy to sustain. You're going to feel really motivated to do this for the first few days. Then you're going to feel really not motivated to do it. Then assuming you push through that, you'll stop needing the motivation entirely and it'll become a habit. It's kind of like in holes where X-ray tells caveman that the first hole is not the hardest, it's the second hole because you're tired from the first one. Was it X-ray that told him that? I can't remember, it's been a while since I read that book. If doing this stayed as hard as it was in the first few days, then I would have quit doing it. The reason I continue to do it is because it gets easier once it becomes a habit. People always think that dedicated people work way harder when in actuality a lot of it is just pushing past that initial discomfort and building a habit. It's still difficult at that point, but parts of it become easier because of the habit. And lastly, make an honest consideration of whether this is something that's for you. You will have the most success at any creative pursuit when that pursuit is done in line with the needs of your mind and body. And every body and every mind is different. Some people are not wired to be creative first thing in the morning. And the association that this has with discipline is entirely a cultural construct. Someone who rolls out of bed at 11 a.m. after getting eight hours of sleep has done the exact same thing as someone who gets out of bed at 5 a.m. has done. We just consider sleeping until 11 lazy and getting up at 5 noble. And someone who stays up an hour later to get work done is arguably getting the same amount of work done as someone who gets up an hour early to get work done. Remember, getting the work done is what counts. That can happen at any time during the day that works for you, or any time during the week. It doesn't even have to be every day. So getting up at 5 a.m. could potentially help you be a happier, more productive person, but it's not something that you need to do. Just like you didn't need to watch this video, but I'm glad you did. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the advice in it useful. If you want to see more stuff like this, you can check out all my other writing advice related videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go make a bagel and an omelette.